Good morning students. This is Dalvinder Pal Singh and I welcome you all once again to e-portal of CIS Dasua. I hope you all are safe at home. I hope you are keeping safe at home. I even believe that you are taking a complete benefit of online courses that the school is offering you. In my last video, I have completed the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. I hope you remember that. Let's take a quick recap of it. To understand the poem, first we watched biography of the poet Robert Frost. After that, I told you what type of poem is it. I gave you explanation of the poem. After that, we discussed the summary, theme and the central idea of the poem. We even discussed the rhyming scheme and the poetic devices used in the poem. Finally, I gave you two worksheets to solve the questions based on the poem. Let's begin with our next chapter. Chapter 2 the sound of music. This chapter has two parts in it. Part 1. Evelyn Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. And part 2. The Shehnai of Bismillah Khan. In today's video, I will only discuss about the part 1. Avalon Glenny listens to sound without hearing it. Don't you find it weird? Can somebody listens to sound without hearing it? Can you imagine? Is it possible? For most of us, it is impossible. But let me tell you, Evelyn Glenny is a deaf. She can't hear. Many of you people may even think it is so uncommon. Yes, it is uncommon. Let us watch a documentary to know more about Evelyn Glenny. Evelyn Glenny is a five foot two dynamo and maybe the best percussionist in the world. She's won a Grammy, been voted Scotswoman of the Decade, and awarded the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth. Not bad for a 29-year-old. Do you feel that you're special? No. That you're a prodigy? Oh no, heavens. Gifted? No, not really. <laughs> Evelyn never wanted to nestle in the back of the orchestra behind a kettle drum. She was determined to be the featured soloist in the spotlight. Only a handful of percussionists in the world have been so bold. Now composers write pieces just for her. But what's remarkable about Evelyn is not just her musicianship. She is a virtuoso who has never heard the audience cheering, never heard the orchestra playing. Evelyn Glenny has been deaf most of her life. 
people have thought that deafness means silence, so, and music is sound, so, you know, how can you experience music? And of course it isn't that at all. For me, hearing is also what I'm seeing and also what I'm feeling. So, you know, I do pretty well out of it, really. And I'm actually very lucky to, to have my other senses really heightened. When we met at her studio in England, Evelyn explained how she hears vibrations. Sounds resonate in different parts of her body. Where are you hearing that? There. That I get to sustain longer, and it really is happening in the lower part of my body. When I play quietly on a marimba, that's the best thing I could possibly do in order to hear myself. What are your best ears? My feet, legs, and, and tummy. Evelyn is a flawless lip reader. Speaking with her, it's hard to believe she's profoundly deaf from nerve damage to her ears. Evelyn, how old were you when the world started to grow quiet for you? Um, oh, I wish it would be more quiet at that <laughs> time. But I began experiencing problems when I was eight years old, and by the time I was 12, I was dependent on hearing aids. A deaf child from a remote Scottish farm who wanted more than anything else to be a musician. I remember having a meeting with our careers officer um, when you were about 15 or something and um, and so when I said to her well I, I, I'm really thinking about going in for music and she just quite blatantly said oh no you know there's no way you can't you, you can do that that had a tremendous impact on me but fortunately for me a positive one because it made me even more determined the British press loved the sentimental story of the plucky deaf girl they loved it even more when Evelyn graduated from the Royal Academy of Music with honors. She soared. Six records, a Grammy with maestro George Schulte, concert tours of Europe and Asia, TV talk show celebrity. I was embarking on an adventure, if you like, being a solo percussionist. It was just a case of walking on a tightrope and seeing what would happen. <laughs> Evelyn lives in England with her husband, Greg Milkanji a musician and recording engineer. She's at a crossroads. Perhaps we start at a different time. Is it time yeah. to cut back a grueling touring schedule and spend more time in the studio with Greg? Okay, Evelyn. Where do you think she's gonna go with all of this, Greg? That's impossible to say with Evelyn. She could pick up and join a rock band or, uh, I don't know. You wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, no. It would, nothing that Evelyn could do would surprise me. Evelyn is determined to make her percussion instruments as respected as the piano or violin. It's a crusade she's carried to Denver and concert halls this month and next in Washington, Cincinnati and Cleveland. To know Evelyn is to doubt everything you thought you knew about the deaf. Would you just as soon have the audience not be aware of your hearing difficulty? Oh no. At the end of the day, you know, I want them to see Evelyn and Evelyn's interpretation of the music. That's me. That's my voice. So, how was the video? I hope you liked it. Do you know, most of the details, facts, which are given in this documentary are mentioned in your chapter as well. Let us start the chapter now. This is the reading time for you. I have underlined the main points of the chapter. Take a look on the first paragraph. It says that a Scottish girl who is standing at the platform 
and she is 17 years old she is able to feel the vibration of the train approaching on the platform and where was she going this was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London in the last line of the paragraph writer says that she was profoundly deaf profoundly means to the extreme almost hundred percent in the second paragraph narrator says that she started losing her hearing power at the age of eight and by the year 11 or 12 she was completely deaf and the same thing was mentioned in the documentary as well if you remember how come she become completely deaf by the age of 12 what was the reason behind it it was gradual nerve damage and what was the result of that doctors and other people started advising them to give her the hearing aid and send her to the school of deaf whereas Evelyn was so determined that she wanted to lead a normal life rather than going to the school of the deaf when she was in the school most of the teachers discouraged her as she loved music only one person he himself was a percussionist Ron Fords spotted her potential he started guiding her he gave her a tip that was don't listen through your ears got it don't listen through your ears this is something a very remarkable comment by Ron Forbes he even said try to sense it sense means feel it what music try to feel the music in some other way now what happens after that Evelyn started developing the other senses senses of feeling she started feeling higher drum from the waist up and one from the waist down this also was shown in the video she could sense certain notes in different part of her body and it is nothing else only the determination and hard by the age of 16 most of the people would only think of opting a particular stream to carry on their studies they would only be thinking of their profession which they are going to opt after four or five years but here Evelyn toured the United Kingdoms with a youth orchestra at this age not only this in the Royal Academy of Music she scored the highest marks in its history 
and at the end of her three year course she was able to bang most of the top awards of the unit of that academy she was so determined so so hard working that she was able to learn she was able to mastery many of the instruments and today she has the hectic international schedule means she is performing in all over the world all the year she is a scottish girl and she is able to speak her mother tongue flawlessly moreover she herself doesn't know how she was able to learn french and the japanese she is a very good lip reader this was mentioned in the documentary she is able to understand she is able to feel the music through every part of her body right from the cheekbone her hair her skin and even the fingertips and whenever she wants to understand the drum beats then she would perform on the wooden platform and she would uh, sit on the stool barefooted so that the vibration pass through her bare feet and up her legs this is how she feels the music from different part of her body it is mentioned that whatever we hear she feels she feels it far more deeply than any one else that is the reason why she expresses music so beautifully one more quality of evelyn is that she is workaholic what is the meaning of workaholic that she can't stop working she don't like sitting idly one more thing about evelyn that she gives free concerts to the prisoners and the people in hospitals she gives high priority to the classes for young musicians means the children and the upcoming musicians there is a beautiful line for her that is she is a shining inspiration for deaf children why is it so because all the deaf children would believe if she can do that then i can do that that is the spirit which is ignited by evelyn there is another line evelyn glenny has already accomplished more than most people twice her age this means she had got huge success at a very young age for which most of the people have to wait for a long long time so this was the chapter i would like you to tell me how is this chapter are you able to understand what this chapter is saying this has given you many life skills this has given you many lessons what are those lessons 
just think of it my next segment is work to do my first question for you is what have you learned from the life of Evelyn Glenny my second question is write the qualities of Evelyn Glenny these all qualities should be personal qualities my third question for you is in spite of being deaf Evelyn can understand music how and the fourth one as usual you have to write down the difficult words and their meanings in your notebook that is the end of part one stay safe stay healthy stay at home thank you and have a great day ahead